Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today Apple has introduced iOS 16 beta 1 with a bunch of new features and changes. But as always, some of the best new features and changes are the ones that Apple doesn't talk about. So in this video, I will show you guys more than 20 of those. Before we get into all those new features, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed. And if this video reaches 2000 likes, I will post a video with more than 100 new features and changes of iOS 16. So let's get things started with the settings app. Head on to settings under wallpaper. You will have here the new wallpaper UI of iOS 16. Now what you can do from here is tap on the home page right there. And this will allow you to enable or disable a blur effect for the home screen wallpaper. This makes the icons pop up a lot more. And in my opinion, that looks much, much better. You can also choose a photo from here from your photo library or just choose any of the colors right here, which of course you can configure directly from this new UI. And the photos app just got some really cool new features. First of all, the recently deleted and the hidden photos albums are now locked. These are locked by default. As long as you have your face ID, touch ID or passcode enabled on your device, these are now locked and the only way to unlock them and see the photos that are inside these are by using face ID, touch ID or passcode. Super cool new feature. Going right here under utilities, you will now see a new album called duplicates. If you go there, it will automatically find all the duplicated photos on your device. Now what it does, you automatically being able to delete one of the photos, which is the lowest quality and the lowest resolution. You just tap on merge duplicates and just like that, it automatically will keep only the best option of that photo. And of course, it will save a ton of space on your device. Now this right here is a super cool feature. You have a photo that you have edited on the photos app. You like the edit you have done on that photo, simply tap the three dots right there and you can copy the edits you have done. You can go to another picture, tap the three dots and paste the edits right there. This is how simple that is. You can copy and paste edits from one photo to another. Now what you can do also with iOS 16 is now take quick notes from anywhere on your device. There are two ways you can do that. You tap the share button on any app where there is a share sheet and you can just go ahead and tap add a quick note. It will add whatever you have there to the quick note and of course you can start composing a note from here. Or the other thing that you can do Head on to your settings app and under control center, you will have now quick notes so you can add a quick note toggle on your control center. And from there now, of course, just tap from the control center to start creating a new note. Too bad they didn't redesign the control center on iOS 16. This is like really, really old and it doesn't actually look that good at all. Moving on to the notes app. Notes now, as you can see right here, are grouped by date. So we have today's notes. You can see right here we have the notes from yesterday and previous seven days. That's really cool. Now another thing you can do now with notes is that you can actually lock notes with the passcode that you use for your device. So you can see right here, if I tap the lock note, it will show me the splash screen right here. So you no longer have to create new passcodes, which is actually really annoying because whenever you want to lock a note, you will have to create a new passcode. And most of the time you will actually forget that passcode. Now you can just use the iPhone's passcode to lock a note, which is again, very, very, very useful. On the mail app, you can save an email for later. Just swipe from the left to the right. It will show you this new button you can tap on later and you can just basically tell the iPhone to remind you in an hour, tonight or remind me later. Whenever you want to, tap right there and choose when you want your iPhone to remind you of this email. There is a new video player UI on the iPhone on iOS 16. So the stock video player UI of iOS has just changed. It, in my opinion, it doesn't really look that good. I prefer the older one, but it has changed with iOS 16. That's all you have to know about that. It doesn't actually look that good at all. Now, another thing here on iMessages, when you want to send a 
voice message you tap this button right here now you can tap or hold to record you don't actually have to just hold the button here to record anything you want you can just tap and release it and you're good to go on the music app on iOS 16 when you go to one of your playlists now you can tap the three dots right there and you will have the option to sort by title artist album or release date so anyone you like you can just go ahead and sort them quickly just like that now this right here is really cool on the home screen you have a search bar now so this is basically the spotlight which you can actually enable or disable by going to your settings you go to the home screen settings you can see show spotlight you can enable or disable it from there now this is one is really cool so if you go here you can now actually even create like do actions so just say alarm so if i just search for alarm right here i will be able to actually create an alarm just like that from here so as easy as that tab done and now i have created an alarm from the home screen of my device now on the control center of your iOS 16 device, of course, at the top right there, you will see the name of an app that is using your microphone or your camera. But now you can tap there and it will show you the list here of which apps have used basically your location, your camera, your microphone, all the privacy settings recently. So it will show you a full list of apps right here, which is really good. And right here, the airplay icon on the control center and also on the lock screen has changed as well so if you're actually maybe streaming music to your airpods so let me just connect the airpods real quick it will actually change here the icon so if i move to airpods you can see it will change the icon to those little airpods which look really really cool moving on to the settings app right here so if you go to one of your wi-fi networks now you can show the passcode of the wi-fi network you're connected to just tap right there on the passcode it will require a face id or touch id and will show you the password of that wi-fi network when you connect your airpods to your iphone now you will get this pop-up on the settings app basically a dedicated section for your airpods it only shows at the top of the settings app when you have your airpods connected and you will see right here airpods the battery the name of course you can change that and all the other settings right here of your airpods so all you have to do just go ahead and just connect your airpods and this will pop up with everything you need to know and all the settings of your airpods moving on to some really cool new options right here under notifications you can choose how you want to display your notifications on the lock screen so you tap right here you can choose to display as count stack or list new options on ios 16. we have some more cool things here by going to sounds and haptics you can see now we have play haptics in ring mode and play haptics in silent mode so you can choose whichever one you want to use so if you want to use both of those of course you can or you can disable both of them and then you will have keyboard feedback now currently of course on ios 15 we have the sound feedback which is really annoying but with ios 16 you can also enable a haptic feedback which basically gives you a vibration anytime you're typing something i'm using it here for about an hour or so it's kind of cool you will get used to it it's kind of cool basically getting that haptic feedback on your fingers while typing something and now let's move on under the accessibility settings go right here to touch we have a new setting added on ios 16 it's called lock to end call so whenever you're on a phone call you just lock your device and you will end the call that's a new feature also added to ios 16 which is really interesting so that's basically it for this video guys these are more than 20 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your ios 16 device that apple didn't talk about for more ios 16 videos make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video